But of course, Tottenham are, and this, De Debbie is in the super chats actually, um, talking about how the situation with Joe Lewis, and I don't know if everybody has seen this, but Joe Lewis, the owner of Tottenham Hotspur, has been uh, indicted and he has handed himself into a police station in the United States and has been arrested for insider trading. Um, there's a full article on, in The Athletic that you should read. But the big point for me is, you know, a lot of Spurs have played this down and they have stated that essentially this is nothing to do with Tottenham. It's, it's a legal matter with the owner and the US and it's nothing to do with us and they're not going to comment on it. But according to when you read the article in The Athletic, very in-depth article, according to some criminal lawyers, so some not criminal lawyers, but financial crime, uh, crime lawyers, they state that this issue for them and for, for Joe Lewis is very serious and that Tottenham now have some serious questions to ask themselves in terms of the ownership structure. Should they now be looking to sell? You also have to look at the Premier League in terms of fit and proper persons test. This is a huge crime that he is alleged to have committed. You're talking 20 plus years in prison for the for the value and the type of crime that he has committed of insider trading. This is a terrible day for Tottenham. It definitely could impact them. They, For me, if you're investigating that element of his life of financial crime, you've got to investigate his company in Enoch. You've got to investigate all the business because Spurs have done some brilliant business deals, right? That all needs to be investigated now as well. And I'm just keeping the same energy because if this was Newcastle, and their owners, if this was City and their owners, if it was Man United when we got taken over by the Qataris, people would be absolutely demanding a full investigation by FIFA, UEFA, the Premier League into ensuring that, by the way, Tottenham, they generate now almost more money than anybody else in England in terms of revenues. The fact that their owners, their owner, their principal owner is now... You see what you just said there, yeah? Financial crime, it needs to be investigated 100%. You said Tottenham generate more money than nearly everyone. I seen that the other day, yeah? Where's the outcry? Because when City do it, they say, how can Manchester City do that? Because you can't sell more shirts than Real Madrid. You can't sell more than this. You can't sell more than that. Well, I'm sorry, Man City's been the most successful team in this country for the last 12 years. We just played in Japan in a stadium, 60, 70,000 people. There was 2,000 Bayern Munich fans. The rest were City fans. So anyone that wants to sit there say Man City ain't growing... All these glory hunters from all around the world are buying thousands of shirts and that. But Tottenham, how are they doing it? Because Tottenham haven't won a trophy. They won the Costa del Sol trophy in 87, and that doesn't generate 300 million quid. But nobody's questioning it because it's Tottenham and nobody's asked. But when it's Man City, there's a big, like, hoo-ha. If Man City get the word cheating or financial irregularities, everyone's on Man City, you're guilty, you're guilty. But now Tottenham, owner's been arrested. He's been arrested. So... What's going to, where's the same energy? Where's this cheating allegations? Are they going to give the Costa del Sol trophy back in 1987? Is that going back to the Costa del Sol? That's what I want to know, Terry. <laughs> Mate, and listen, this is the thing. that they, they need to investigate it to ensure that everything that Tottenham are, are doing is legal, above board. They need to make sure that there is no... Um, uh, that's what I'm looking for. Look, there is look no at the chat. Look at the chat. It's concerts from the NFL and the stadium. Yeah, of course it is, mate. Have you seen the concerts at the Etihad? Have you seen the concerts at the Etihad? Every summer, five or six concerts, Coldplay, Harry Styles, everything. They've even built their own concert stadium outside the Etihad to 25,000. You know what I mean? These people ain't got a clue. They just make excuses. It's all bullshit at the end of the day, but give the same energy to Tottenham. W wonder why their turnover is higher than your own clubs. They must be cheating, oh. right? That's what everyone's saying. They must be cheating. Or is it good business? Absolutely. And this is this is the only point I'm making. The, the financial crimes that Joe Lewis has been alleged, alleged to have committed. Firstly, he may not have done them. So he has to be given a fair trial. But the Premier League, the FA, UEFA and FIFA have to investigate Tottenham's financial business as a matter of course. You must do it. In any other walk of life, it would happen. If you're at work today and you work for a bank and then you were arrested for a potential crime, especially if it's financial, say you work in a bank and you're arrested outside and it's nothing you've alleged to have done in the bank you work for, your bank is going to investigate 
your behavior at work. What have you been doing? They're going to investigate what you've been logging into. What have you been doing? They're going to check. They're going to get internal investigations to investigate you as well. You have to do it. So when it comes to the governing bodies of football, which is essentially the you know that you know you wait for FIFA, they have to look at Tottenham. Tottenham may not have benefited at all from any of these potential financial crimes that he's committed, but they can't just ignore it, bury their heads in the sand, and say it's nothing to do with us. Of course it is. Your pr principal owner has just been re arrested for a crime that could see him spend, because of his age, the rest of his life in prison. It needs to be investigated, and I just think. The same energy should be kept because we would definitely do it if it was owners from the Middle East. We would definitely do it if it was owners from the continent of Africa. So why not if they're from America? Why not if they're from Europe? We've done it to we've done it to owners from Asia in the past. We must do the same thing. Tottenham need to be investigated because we need to know that the league is being run integrally. We need to know that Tottenham are not generating money through any ill-gotten gains to to prop up what it is they're trying to achieve. And I don't, think anyone's asked to the, don't think anyone's bothered about Tottenham because they don't win anything. They don't come anywhere near anyone. They don't do anything. Nobody's asked. Let them cheat. If they want to cheat, let them cheat. I'm not asked. If Tottenham are cheating and then they're not winning anything, then they're not even good at fucking cheating. So let them, let them cheat. You know what I mean? I don't care. I'm not bothered. I just care what my own club do. Somebody said in the chat that Manchester City Council get the concert revenue. They don't. They don't. It's been, it was all renegotiated. Man City play a flat fee for the Etihad Stadium. Everything above and beyond that goes to Manchester City. So know your facts. You can't come on here and talk shit to me about Man City. Yeah, well, when, when, there's, when there's a con when there's a, con a Beyonce concert, the person who gets the most amount of money for that concert is Beyonce. <laughs> like Beyonce is getting that money and her record label and everything else first and foremost. But yeah, look, it, it definitely needs to be investigated. It's a dark, horrible day for Tottenham, you know, for your owners to kind of go through that. And yeah, it's it's definitely going to be, in my opinion, a worry for them. And it should be a worry for Tottenham fans. It, it, it absolutely should. But viewers, let us know what you think and what you feel. We had some super chats from earlier. First one from an Arsenal fan here says that uh, Arsenal are living rent-free in Baldy's head. Well, that's good because he just spent two dollars to tell me that. So who's living in whose head? Because I haven't paid you to put that. You just paid to put that to me. So I'm living in his head, isn't it? Thanks for the super chat, by the way. Appreciate that. Keep them coming, Arsenal fever. Uh, this here says, uh, "Low Jesus said they felt nervous in the title race." Is what Fuad's army says here. Yeah, well, basically that's what I said. You shit yourself. It's just the same, but in like press terms. <laughs> It's true. Yeah, yeah, in PR terms. Um, yeah, he's not going to come out and say we shit ourselves, is it? And he's a shit bag. But basically, we all know that's what happened. So whether you want to sugarcoat it and use them words, you can. But I'm telling you the truth. Your ass fell out and you lost the league. Simple as that. Uh, Kevin here, Kevin Jimenez says, uh, does this affect uh, Spurs' transfers? No, it, this won't affect Spurs in the short term at all. And in my personal opinion... I would say they've probably not benefited from any of this if these alleged crimes have happened, but they need to be investigated because we as football fans need to know that they have done nothing wrong. We need to know categorically. So there needs to be an internal investigation um, and one conducted by the legal authorities, in my opinion. Uh, it says a lot when this is the first time fans have ever heard of Joe Lewis. Uh, he's, he's that terrible of an owner. If he goes to prison, then nothing changes. Yeah, I know he's not. A, I know you don't like him, Cal. I know you're a very honest Spurs fan. Look, there is talk that this could force them to sell, so this could end up being a silver lining for Tottenham. This could benefit you greatly if you get good owners take over. But if you're forced to sell and it's kind of done through, you've got to speed it through. Maybe not, but yeah, but it'd be interesting to see how it goes.